Well, I just had a close encounter of the wrong kind with old Betsy here. Took her down to, not you, Sonny. Took her down to Lowe's to get some mulch since the free mulch was all gone and uh, pulled out and was a little bit down the road and a good Samaritan and an F-150 behind me pulled me over and said, hey, your right wheel is smoking, so that's not good, of course, and of course I could smell it right away. <clears throat> anyway, it looks like, well, it doesn't look like, what happened is this fender matting bracket was rubbing against the sidewall here, it completely tore the sidewall off down to the uh, the steel. It's kind of strange because I've had this thing loaded with mulch before, you know, the loose mulch all the way to the top, and that's usually heavier because uh, it's often wet, and this is pretty dry. In any case, we went and took an offload half of this and put it up in the truck, and it was still rubbing here, so I tried to get the fender and the bracket off. I had wrenches in the truck, but I couldn't get in there because of the way it's mounted. Anyways, put my foot on this puppy and bent it back. But the big thing that was different today was I had been running these tires about 35 PSI then. When I made the last video, I realized that they should be running at 80 PSI is what they're rated at. So I filled them both up to 70 before I took off. And so I'm thinking that must have something to do with it. That and maybe this bracket wasn't, uh, it might have been bent in the past. Because the other side is fine. It didn't rub at all. And like I say, even after we took half the load off, it was still rubbing on here. So anyway, at the very least, I'm going to be needing a new tire here. I'll show you the inside. Okay, so hopefully you can see on these dark tires here, basically uh, the mounting bracket for the fender tore it against the sidewall here and just uh, chewed it off. You can see all the rubber particles on the inside of the tire here. I guess if I want to put a positive spin on this whole situation is that the uh, mulch I bought was on sale and the money I saved would probably pay for the new tire. <laughs> In any case, it might be a good time to switch to radials. I need to take a little closer assessment of what happened here. Like I said, I don't think the trailer was overloaded because it's uh, had it much weight before and the other side didn't do it. And the air pressure was changed. And I don't know. This is a tire that had the uh, bad rubber anyway, so probably no great loss there. So here's the left side. And you can see uh, there's not really a whole lot of clearance here with the way this bracket angles out like that. You know, if this bracket wasn't angling out, there'd be plenty of clearance. You can see where the tire did rub against it lightly there. Of course, it didn't do any damage to the tire, which is a good thing. But I think we need to do a little engineering revision on this guy, that's for sure. No apparent serious rubbing there that I can see. Here you can see this thing is about, still is about half loaded in that leaf spring. Really isn't back that far. Still a lot of play in there. There's the inside of the bolts. Take that fender bracket, mounting bracket off. I couldn't really get to them without having a uh, swivel adapter from my ratchet, which I didn't have in the truck at the time. I'm just thankful I had any tools. Here's the right side that had the damage. This is after I, so I bent it back with my foot to get it home. You can see where it was rubbing on there pretty good. But uh, this bracket coming out like that. I don't know. It's not a very good design, I would think. Well, obviously, based on this, that should come straight up as far as possible and then bend out at the last possible minute there, so probably need to make a change here, that's for sure, because there's not a lot of room for play there. 